Lawyers and attorneys are not licensed to practice law. Bigger text, plus, smaller text. The Legal Craft Lawyer Deceptions By Ben Gates August 3, 2006 Lawyers and attorneys are not licensed to practice law the nature of lawyer craft in America as per the United States Supreme Court, the practice of law cannot be licensed by any state state. Schwer v. Board of Examiners, 353 U.S. 238, 239, the practice of law is an occupation of common right. Sims v. Ahrens, 271 SW 720, 1925. The certificate from the state Supreme Court, only authorizes, to practice law in courts as a member of the state judicial branch of government. Can ONLY represent wards of the court, infants, persons of unsound mind, see Corpus Juris Secundum, Volume 7, Section 4. Certificate is not a license to practice law as an occupation, nor to do business as a law firm. State bar card is not a license. It is a union dues card. The bar is a professional association, 1. Like the actors union, painters union, etc. 2. No other association, even doctors, issue their own license. All are issued by the state. 3. The state bar is a non-governmental private association and dues must be current to sustain membership. The state bar is an unconstitutional monopoly. An illegal at criminal enterprise violates Article 2, Section 1, Separation of Powers Clause of the Constitution. There is no power or authority for joining of legislative, judicial, or executive within a state as the bar is attempting. Bar members have invaded all branches of government and are attempting to control the Euro government as agents of a foreign entity. It is quite simple to see that a great fraud and conspiracy has been perpetrated on the people of America. The American Bar is an offshoot from London Lawyers Guild and was established by people with invasive monopolistic goals in mind. In 1909 they incorporated this traitorous group in the state of Illinois and had the state legislature, which was under the control of lawyers, pass an unconstitutional law that only members of this powerful union of lawyers, called the ABA could practice law and hold all the key positions in law enforcement and the making of laws. At that time Illinois became an outlaw state and for all practical purposes, they seceded from the United States of America. The Bar Association then sent organizers to all the other states and explained to the lawyers there how much more profitable and secure it would be for them, as lawyers, to join this union and be protected by its bylaws and canons. They issued to the lawyers in each state a charter from the Illinois organization. California joined in 1927 and a few reluctant states and their lawyers waited until the 1930s to join when the Treasonous Act became de facto and the citizens became captives. Under this system, the lawyers could guarantee prejudged decisions for the privileged class against the lower class. This was all made possible by the American Bar Association to favor the right and have unlawfully substituted them in place of constitutional laws. The Constitution was written in plain English and the statutes passed by Congress were also in plain English, with the intent of Congress how each law should be used and not the opinions of various judges as the codes list. Any normal person can read the Constitution and statutes and understand them without any trouble. The public in California was shocked to learn that the state government has no control or jurisdiction over the Bar Association or its members. The state does not accredit the law schools or hold bar examinations. They do not issue state licenses to lawyers. The Bar Association accredits all the law schools, holds their private examinations and selects the students they will accept in their organization and issues them so-called license but keeps the fees for themselves. The bar is the only one that can punish or disbar a lawyer. They also select the lawyers that they consider qualified for judgeships and various other offices in the state. Only the bar association or their designated committees can remove any of these lawyers from public office. The state legislature will not change this system as they are also a designated committee of the bar. 
On August 21, 1984, Rose Byrd, Chief Justice of the California State Supreme Court, another of the Bar Association's judicial committees, stated in essence that the Bar should determine the legality of all initiatives before they were allowed to go on the ballot. This is contrary to both state and federal constitutions, as well as the laws of this nation instituted by and for the people as a sovereign unity of independent states of with a people, not a fraudulent corporate entity of lawyers. This is a tremendous amount of power for a private union that is incorporated and headquartered in Illinois to hold over the citizens of California or any other state. The only recourse is through this initiative process and vote by the people. After the founding fathers had formed the constitution, outlining the laws as to the way our government was to be run, Thomas Jefferson said, in essence, this proves that plain people, if given the chance, can enact laws and run a government as well as or better than royalty and the blue bloods of Europe. The American people must stop thinking that lawyers are better than they are and can do a better job than they can before the courts of America. Under the common law and the laws of America, Nowhere is it expressly given for anyone to have the power or the right to form a corporation. Corporations are given birth because of ignorance on the part of the American people and are operating under implied consent and power which they have usurped and otherwise stolen from the people. By right and law they have no power, authority or jurisdiction, and must be put out of business by the good citizens of America in their fight for freedom. The U.S. Constitution guarantees to every state in this union a republican form of government. Any other form of government is forbidden. No public officer or branch of government can be limited to a ruling class of any kind, or the states become aristocracies and not republics. Also, the lawyers have made themselves first-class citizens, where many public offices and branches of government are open to lawyers only. All other people are limited to only two branches of government and to only certain offices in those two branches of government, making all people who are non-lawyers into second-class subject citizens. When the courts belong to the people, as the United States Constitution requires, Article 4, Section 4, we the people, will never rule against themselves. In these unconstitutional courts foreign tribunals, hoodlum centers, men in black dresses, that are unconstitutional robes of nobility. Article 1, Section 9 and 10, dispense a perverted ideology, where the people are terrorized by members of the black robe cult, lawyers and lawyer judges in the courtrooms. The legislative branch of government does not have the constitutional power to issue court orders or any other kind of orders to people as a fiction court or a court corporation for profit and gain cannot reach parity with a lawful man. Only presidents and governors have the constitutional power to grant pardons, but lawyers and lawyer judges are unconstitutionally granting pardons with immunity from prosecution. Citizens are not permitted to act like people in the courts. The citizen, second class, is told that he does not know how to fill out fancy lawyer forms, that he is not trained in the law that he does not know court rules and procedures, etc. This is unconstitutional lawyer system only hearsay substitutes, lawyers, not under oath, have access to the fiction for profit and gain courts, even though ONLY sworn testimony and evidence can be presented in court. Anything else is bill of attainder, not permitted under the US Constitution Article 1, Sections 9 and 10. The US Constitution does not give anyone the right to a lawyer or the right to counsel, or the right to any other hearsay substitute. The Sixth Amendment is very specific, that the accused ONLY has the right to the assistance of counsel and this assistance of counsel can be anyone the accused chooses without limitation. Lawyers and lawyer judges, created unconstitutional lawyer system pretrial motions and hearings to have eternal extortionistic litigations which is baratry and also is in violation of the U.S. Constitution, and Article 1, as this places defendants in double jeopardy a hundred times over. Defendants only have a right to a trial, not trials. When a criminal is freed on a technicality, he is freed because of a fix and a pay OFF, as a defendant can only be freed if found innocent by a jury not by a ny technicality. Whenever a lawyer is involved in a case directly or indirectly, 
as a litigant or assisting in counsel, all lawyer judges have to disqualify themselves, as there cannot be a constitutional trial and also there would be a violation of the conflict of interest laws, along with the violation of separation of powers and checks and balances, because officers of the court are on both sides of the bench. These same lawyer judges are awarding or approving lawyer fees, directly and indirectly, amounting to billions of dollars annually, all in violation of conflict of interest laws. As long as there are lawyers, there will never be any law, constitution or justice. There will only be mob rule, rule be why a mob of lawyers. Case law is unconstitutional, as case law is enacted be why the judicial branch of government. When a lawyer judge instructs, directs, or gives orders to a jury, the lawyer judge is tampering with the jury. He also tampers with testimony when he orders the answers to be either yes or no. The lawyer judge also tampers, fixes, and rigs the trial when he orders anything stricken from the record, or when he rules certain evidence and the truth to be inadmissible. This makes the trial and transcript fixed and rigged, because the jury does not hear the real truth and all the facts. Juries are made into puppets by the lawyers and lawyer judges. All lawyers are automatically in the judicial branch of government, as they have the unconstitutional title of nobility, Article 1, Section 9, and 10, Officer of the Court. Citizens have to be elected or hired to be in any branch of government but non-lawyer citizens are limited to only two of the three branches of government. Lawyers as first-class citizens can be hired or elected to any of the three branches of government. Lawyers, officers of the court, in the judicial branch, are unconstitutionally in two branches of government at the same time whenever they are hired or elected to the executive or legislative branches. This is a violation of the separation of powers, checks and balances, and the conflict of interest laws. District attorneys and state's attorneys have taken over the grand juries from the people, where the people are denied access to the grand juries when they attempt to present evidence of crimes committed in the courtrooms by the lawyers and lawyer judges. The US Constitution, being the supreme fundamental law, is not and cannot be ambiguous as to be interpreted or it would be a worthless piece of paper, as recently stated by President Bush, and we would have millions of interpretations, unconstitutional amendments, instead of the few we have now. That is why all judges and public servants are sworn to support the US Constitution, not interpret it. Under international orders, all lawyers, whether they left law school yesterday or 50 years ago, are exactly the same. All lawyers have to file the same motions and follow the same procedures in using the same unconstitutional lawyer system. In probate, the lawyers place themselves in everyone's will and estate. When there are minor children as heirs, the lawyer judges appoint a lawyer, a child molesting Fagin, for each child and, at times, the lawyer fees exceed the total amount of the estate. An outrageous amount of tax money is directly and indirectly stolen by lawyers. Money that is budgeted to county boards, school boards, and other local and federal agencies eventually finds its way into the pockets of lawyers, as all of these agencies are tricked and forced into eternal extortionistic litigation.